What is up guys, Charlie Ping is here. Welcome to another video. I think I found an alternative to a Wacom Cintiq tablet and I cannot wait to show you guys. As you guys know, Wacom tablets can cost a boatload of money and a lot of us designers can't afford them. I'm really excited to show you guys this tablet because it's really affordable and I think it's gonna change the game a lot. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and get started. If you guys are familiar with Wacom, you know of their Cintiq HD 13-inch model, and it's quite expensive. I believe it's over $900, and which is pretty pricey if you think about it. That's a really big investment, especially if you're just trying to create some digital art. I think $900 is pretty steep. Um, if you could afford it, obviously, I would definitely go with the Wacom, but I found a true competitor, and I'm in love with this new tablet that I got from a company called Parblo. As always, guys, I'm gonna go into what I like about the tablet and what I don't like about it, but first, I wanna show you guys what it looks like. Let's grab this bad boy. So this is Parblo's Coast 13 model and it is a 13.3 inch uh, monitor or display, whatever you want to call it. So it's a really, really cool tablet. It's really lightweight. Um, the build quality seems pretty nice. And one thing I really, really like about this is it comes with eight express keys that are programmable, customizable or whatever. You can literally change these to whatever you want through their software that you download. And another thing is this thing is super easy to download, guys. I did not have any issues at all. I just went on their website because my disk drives broke, by the way. So I can't insert the disk that they gave me to install the software. So I had to do it through their website. Super easy to find, I downloaded it. It was cake, guys. It literally worked the first time. I never had a tablet company that worked the first time. I mean, every single tablet I've reviewed for you guys, I had a little bit of issues with, but this one, I can honestly say I've never had any issues with it since I got it. One thing that's really unique on this tablet that I'm not used to seeing is this thing called the Rocky Ring. That's what they call it. To me, it's just a normal ring, a plastic ring, and you can use that to zoom in, which is awesome. I, and I've been using it quite a bit, and it's made my workflow really fast. I mean, honestly, it's been so smooth using this ring. One thing I did notice is it doesn't work very good in Illustrator for some reason, but when I pulled up Photoshop and used this tablet, it worked beautifully every time. You guys would be surprised to know that this is only $449 compared to Wacom Cintiq, which is over $1,000, I believe. I know it's like above $900 at least. So anyway, um, quite a price difference. And with that price difference, there's obviously gonna be some sacrifices. And one sacrifice that I see that this company had to make was the screen is not a matte finish. So it's not gonna feel like an actual piece of paper when you draw on it. So some of you might be discouraged by that, but for me, I don't really care. And I have used matte finish uh, tablets before and they do feel much nicer than this glossy screen. Now this one's not super glossy though. I just want you guys to know that. It's not as glossy as a lot of them that I tried. It's kind of in between. It still feels nice to draw on, but it's not as nice as a full matte screen. One way you can fix that is by buying a screen protector that's matte finish and it will make it feel more like paper. Um, some people that might be a deal breaker, but for me, again, it's not really a deal breaker. You can go on their website and download the software or you can just insert the CD that comes with it. And it comes with a mini HDMI to regular HDMI and then it also has a Type-C to USB port. I really like how they added that Type-C because Type-C is super fast and it makes sense why they did that. So this thing does run really smooth and I've noticed the difference between other tablets versus this one. I've tested it for about two weeks using Photoshop and Illustrator and I can say it does work and there's little to no pen lag at all, which is amazing and it really blew my mind because at $449 you kind of expect things to go wrong and I haven't seen anything go wrong wrong with this yet. Crossing my fingers though because anything can happen. I do want to note that I have a really solid computer so that could be a reason why this is running smooth as well. If you're running a lower end computer you might have some issues with the software. Maybe it'll be a little laggier than if you had a better computer but that's not due to this graphic tablet. That's actually due to your computer. Another thing that really blew my mind when unboxing this thing is the simplicity behind the packaging. You guys can see in the back here that I have the box right there. It's a beautiful box. I mean, they really took some time putting together their packaging, which I appreciate as a graphic designer. I, I just I really do appreciate that because it shows that they care about their product. When you're unboxing something, you really want that good experience because if you don't have a good experience, it can put a bad taste in your mouth and it makes the product lose value almost immediately. So when I unbox this, I was really surprised to see that the pen came in a really fancy case. I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. Um, so this is the case. Opening it is so satisfying, by the way. When I opened this case, I was just so excited. I mean, I can't even explain how excited this made me because it feels like a really nice case. It's, it's nice and sturdy. You guys can hear it. It's a nice sturdy plastic and when you open it, it just kind of glows and it comes with this really nice pen. Again, guys, this is wireless and this is battery free. 
I don't know how it works. I don't, I don't, I really don't get it, but it works and that's all I care about. So I don't even like, I'm not going to get into the technical jargon of how this works, but it works and it's beautiful and it's genius. I love it. It does come with all the things that you would expect from a really high end pen for a tablet. So it does come with a little button right here that you can program and it's pressure sensitive, obviously. One thing that's special about this pen versus other more expensive tablets is this actually does come with a eraser on the other side of the pen. So you have your normal brush that you can use and if you flip it over in Photoshop, you can actually erase, which is amazing because a lot of pens don't come with that and this one does and I find it very, very useful and it feels very natural like you're drawing on a piece of paper. So I can be drawing something and like I said, I can turn it around and and it's gonna recognize that this is an eraser and it changes my tool to an eraser so it works beautifully. So that was the pen and I also just went over all the things I really, really like about the tablet but I'm gonna go over the few cons that I do have for this tablet and some of these may be a deal breaker, some may not be. Um, the first thing I wanna go over, let me grab the tablet again. Bam. All right, so the first thing I wanna go over is it does not have a stand. So as you guys can see, it doesn't have a stand and that really could be a deal breaker for a lot of people because some people might wanna prop it up on the desk so they can draw like this, you know? And this one, that was really awkward. I was trying to make that work on the screen. Anyway, for me, I didn't really mind because I hold it in my hand while I use it and or I put it on my lap, you know? So that can bother a lot of people and that could be a huge deal breaker and I totally understand. Another con that I actually already mentioned previously but it's also not a big deal is that the display is not matte finish. It's more of a glossy finish. Um, that could be annoying for some people because when you're drawing on it, it feels very slippery versus having a little bit of texture so it feels more like paper. Again, that can get annoying for some people and it definitely was annoying for me as well. I did get used to the glossy display. I definitely wish this had that matte finish just because I really do enjoy enjoy drawing on paper. To me, it feels satisfying. But again, that's a very, very small thing and it might not be a deal breaker for some of you. But this is a really, really small con and it's not a big deal. You could just buy a matte finish screen protector that's made for these. Um, so anyway, that's that's a simple fix. But overall, this is a really, really good graphics tablet and coming in at $449, you really can't go wrong. So the big question is, should you buy the Parblo Coast 13 over the Cintiq 13 inch that Wacom has? And I would say yes to that. I would totally buy this over that because not only are you going to save money, but it comes with all the great features you're used to in a higher end graphics tablet. So I would definitely, definitely buy this one, especially like I said, if you guys want to save some money and get a huge bang for your buck. Great, great tablet guys. I will put the link in the description below so you guys can check this out. Again, you don't have to buy it though. That's completely up to you. If it fits what you're looking for, definitely go pick one up. I recommend it. But that's it for this product review. If you guys enjoyed it, obviously hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys thought about this video and the comment section below. And of course, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.